Miles Teller was paid only $8,000 for a movie that won three Oscars. Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how Miles Teller was paid only $8,000 for a movie that won three Oscars. Let's get right into it. Top Gun Maverick, released in 2022, emerged as the second biggest box office hit of the year, with only Avatar The Way of Water surpassing its success. While Tom Cruise was undoubtedly the lead of the film, Miles Teller also made a significant contribution to its success. Teller's career has been boosted by his performance in Top Gun Maverick, and he is now more successful than ever before. It is likely that he will receive many offers for leading roles in the future. In the past, Teller faced difficulties in securing roles. He almost missed out on a minor role in a teenage comedy in the early 2010s. Given his struggles to find work in the past, it is unsurprising that he was paid very little for some of his previous performances. Despite the fact that it's not unusual for actors to receive low pay for early work in their careers, it's still surprising to learn that Miles Teller was paid only a measly $8,000 for his most critically acclaimed performance to date. As actors reach a certain level of success, they become more powerful and influential in the industry, allowing them to demand substantial salaries. This is evident in the case of the stars of the blockbuster film, Avengers Endgame, who reportedly earned tens of millions of dollars for their roles in the film. However, it's not uncommon for even the highest paid actors in Hollywood to take pay cuts for projects they're passionate about. They might agree to receive a lower salary in exchange for being part of a film or show they believe in, and sometimes they even receive a portion of the film's profits. This shows that for many actors, the love for their craft and the desire to be part of something meaningful trumps the desire for financial gain. It's a rare occurrence for a big-name actor to receive such a low salary, but Miles Teller's payment for his lead role in the 2014 film Whiplash was just that, only $8,000 according to an interview with The Times. Despite its relatively low budget of $3.3 million, Whiplash went on to be a major success, grossing over $49 million as reported by IMDb. This means that the film brought in nearly 15 times its production cost upon its release. In addition to being highly profitable for Sony Pictures, Whiplash also received recognition from various awards bodies. It won three Academy Awards for its achievements in film editing, sound mixing and supporting acting, solidifying its place as a standout film in the industry. While J.K. Simmons received the majority of the attention for his Oscar-winning performance in Whiplash, it is important to acknowledge the integral role that Miles Teller played in the film's success. Teller's portrayal of aspiring drummer Andrew Nyman brought a level of intensity and talent to the screen, making him the perfect counterpart for Simmons' masterful turn as the sadistic Terence Fletcher. Teller's performance was not overlooked by the industry either. He received several award nominations, including three MTV Movie Awards, a Golden Schmoes Award, and a Satellite Award for his outstanding work in Whiplash. However, despite the film's critical and financial success, Teller's salary for his role in Whiplash remained at a mere $8,000. This raises questions about the fairness in the entertainment industry, as it seems only right that Teller should have received a bonus or a higher salary based on the film's remarkable performance. While Teller's willingness to take a low salary in pursuit of making a great film is certainly admirable, it is important to recognize that actors should be fairly compensated for their hard work and talent. No one should expect Teller, or any other actor for that matter, to consistently accept low pay for their roles. During his interview with The Times, Teller appeared pleased with the $8,000 pay he earned for Whiplash. On the other hand, he made it quite plain that there is no way that he could sustain himself by earning that type of compensation for each and every part that he does. Fortunately, Teller has taken on projects that have paid him much more than his Whiplash salary. In 2022 alone, he reportedly earned a significant amount for two of his movies. According to Bustle, Teller was paid a substantial $700,000 for his role in Spiderhead alongside Chris Hemsworth. And for his role in the highly anticipated Top Gun Maverick, Teller reportedly earned an impressive $3.5 million. Despite rumors that Teller's net worth was taking a dip during the five-year period from 2017 to 2022, when he didn't star in any movies, Teller's financial situation is now stronger than ever. According to CelebrityWorth.com, Teller's current net worth is estimated to be a solid $10 million. With Teller's recent success in the film industry, his talent and star power is only set to increase. With his impressive performance in Top Gun Maverick, he has now cemented himself as a leading man in Hollywood. This means that Teller is likely to receive some of the most lucrative offers in the industry. As Teller's wealth and influence grow, he will be in a better position to choose projects that he is passionate about, regardless of their budget or salary. This might mean that he will take a pay cut in the future to be a part of a movie that he believes in, just like he did with Whiplash. 
Despite the financial benefits, Teller's main priority will always be to make films that he is proud of and that moviegoers will enjoy. Whether he is paid millions or thousands, Teller is sure to continue delivering incredible performances for years to come. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.